I'm very happy to be joined here today by Constable Kelsey Davidge with the Lloyd RCMP. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Of course. So the holiday season, of course, is approaching. We've Everybody's been saying that for the last couple of weeks. And with that, a lot of people are turning to online shopping to get their gifts. It's, you know, it's super easy to do it that way. And you don't have to worry about stores and lines. However, with that comes packages being delivered to your doorstep. And that is uh, a, kind of like a gateway for potential theft. So today we're going to be talking about how people can prevent that or, you know, make it so that it's, you know, you're there to receive the package on time. So can, can we go through how people can prevent packages and uh, as a RCMP perspective? For sure. Again, with those online shopping increases, we do see a number of parcels that or packages being left unattended outside of residences. This does create an easy opportunity for thieves to take those, right? Couple things we urge you to keep in mind is trying to schedule those deliveries during a time frame that you know you'll be home. Therefore, when you have that knock on the door, you're able to take that package rate right from that delivery service. Consider having your packages delivered to a workplace or a relative's home or maybe someone who's retired or a trusted neighbor where you know they'll be home during that day so they're able to pick up that package right away. Another thing we suggest is redirecting your package to a nearby pickup location or using a P.O. box. Another one would be request to have a signature for delivery. Um, so that that parcel isn't left outside, you would have to maybe go pick up at a post office or an additional place, but you are guaranteed the security of that package. We also uh, recommend consider installing exterior security cameras so you know when that package is dropped off. And if you aren't home at that time, you're able to see if someone's on your property or if someone took that package. And the last one I'll suggest is instead of sending physical money or currency or a physical gift card in an envelope, we recommend sending either an e-transfer or an electronic gift card. This then guarantees that person's receiving it and that that mail is not being taken away and, and looked for to, to pick up those things like currency. Um, now, this time of year, obviously, there's a lot more packages to be able to be stolen. Um, have you seen an increase in this city this year? Um, or do you have any kind of numbers for the border city for people? Uh, is there an increase this year? I'd have to look those numbers up from last year, but again, uh, with even just online shopping has increased over time and we are seeing less people physically going into the stores with the convenience of having it sent directly to your house. So don't let that uh, convenience make it an opportunity for a thief, right? So that's kind of what we're talking about today, but no, I don't have exact numbers for that. I could get that for you later, maybe. Uh, now with um, when, if, if, the event does occur where someone's package gets stolen what do they do going moving forward what do they do after the fact if they do end up getting their package stolen yeah we always want you to re report suspicious persons or activity to your local police station or area of jurisdiction um, with that we can get stats like this knowing what kind of crimes are popular in that area or getting a clearer picture of what types and numbers of crimes are occurring within that area this information helps police launch future projects initiatives or educational campaigns within the area or that division um, and also, if you want to replace that package, a lot of services will have you report it to police so you're able to get an occurrence number, which then therefore you can replace that package, like showing that you actually reported it and actually lost that package, if that makes sense. Yes, for sure. And I didn't even know that you could do that. So mm -hmm. I think that's a fantastic thing for people to be aware of if uh, they do in the event that they do get their package stolen. That's fantastic. And definitely something I'll keep in mind if that ever, <laughs> ever happens to me. Um, now, is there anything else that you would like to add in uh, regards to prevention? Uh, again, use those safety tips that we recommended and make sure they're they're used and ensure that your your property and your residence is safe during the holiday season. Another reminder that we'd like to give is our CMP through online crime reporting. So you can always report online 
at http dash dash report rcmp.ca. Um, types of things you can use for this option are if there's no witnesses or suspects to an occurrence, if a lost or stolen item is worth less than $5,000, or if there is no items involving personal identity, firearms, license plates, or decals, you can always use that new online reporting tool uh, for convenience, really. Um, instead of physically coming into the attachment, you can do that all online. That sounds perfect and definitely will make things easier, especially when they don't have to drive all the way down to the detachment and they can yeah. quickly just fill it out. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. These are some great tips for people and some things that I learned as well. So thank you so much for joining me and hopefully, hopefully the numbers aren't too high this year uh, for uh, theft in the city. So thank you. No problem. Have a great day.